whole band. Uh, have you guys been on a boat before? Anybody remember where this thing goes? Oh, don't worry. Don't worry. I'm a professional. Welcome to the Ballard Ship and Al Box. Have you guys ever been to Alaska? One of it? Did you ride the Alaskan State Ferry? No. There's a ferry that will take you from Bellingham, I think it is, all the way up to Alaska. It takes about a week. It's a lot cheaper than going on a cruise. Right? Uh, it takes a week to get up there, a week to come back. This is the E.L. Bartlett. This boat right here is actually one of the old Alaskan State Ferry boats. You would drive on from the back, drive off the front, vice versa. And uh, this whole over thing, all these over here, this is part of the uh, Seattle Maritime Institute. These boats have been gifted or sold to the Institute at a very reasonable price. One boat they just really uh, fired last year, I've not seen her here right now, her name is The Bold. And they picked her up for five thousand dollars, right? Big, big, fancy boat like this. So. Well, according to the sign on the bridge, the speed limit is seven knots. Let's see if we can go faster. <laughs> we don't get anywhere close to seven knots, you guys. Just playing with it here. But it's kind of neat. We got to go underneath the bridge. Uh, I'm trying to jump up on the bridge. Uh, going out here. You know, 1,447 times I've done this, and it's still weird for me to drive a boat in the lake. Yeah, it don't feel weird. It's weird for you, too. So what we're going to do is we're going to kind of mosey over here to our left a little bit. we got to be really vigilant around here. we got got uh, all sorts of traffic going on. I do love driving around the lake though, you guys. I don't get to come over here very often either, so I hope you guys appreciate it. This is the lake's like the fancy recreational part, and this is here, this is all this is real life, you guys. Seriously. We got people that live on their boats, right? We got they got their park their boats here, we got the firemen right there just in case, you know. I don't know. These are real fishing boats. They uh, they go fishing every year. In fact, right over here is Fisherman's Terminal. See, it says Fisherman's Terminal right there on the roof. And this is where uh, this is where the guys from the deadliest catch and they will hang out all uh, all off season. I don't even know what their off season is. They're out here like in the early spring. That's about the, the, the off season for them. Not everybody goes to Alaska to fish. Some of these guys hang out around here. They fish Puget Sound. What we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna come right up here next to the Seabird, the Mystery Bay, and the Enterprise. We're gonna give you guys a little close-up view of their boats. About as close as I'm going to get as well. This is how it's a uh, nice big fishing boats. I don't know what kind of fishing boats are which. Why? Because I'm not a fisherman. Don't judge me. Uh, it's kind of neat. You see how many lights they got on top of those boats right there? That means that's a lot of night work. And I don't know if I want to be on one of those. Fishing in the, in the dark. I don't know. Just you and me go fishing in the dark. I do love reading the boat names. You know, you just never know what you're gonna see out here. Salmon transporter. 